Hey, what's up guys? Ray from Garage TV. So today we are working on the new Nokia Excellence in their preview. We'll try to cover some of the interesting features that I found out on this device and let's take a look what's there in uh, specifically on this Nokia Excel in this India preview. So starting on this device has a beautiful 5 inch screen. Sometimes there's an issue when it comes to using this device outdoors but keeping inside I'll to I try to cover up in a few moments from now. So let me quickly jump to the settings and uh, show you what's there inside. So uh, let me try to go up to the settings and uh, try to uh, show up what's in the display settings first because uh, many of you wants to show what's in the settings and uh, brightness and all the toggles and all. So the brightness is pretty good when you are using it in the indoor but sometimes there's an issue outdoor but I'll try to cover up in a moment. There's a double talk to uh, double tap on the device to use up uh, in a lock screen also. This is a very good feature. So jumping to the storage you can uh, have about uh, 4 gigabyte of storage which uh, uh, which is claimed by Nokia but you get about uh, 60 to 70 percent of the storage available when you are using this device so that's a little bit of a con I must say when you are using this phone or when you are trying to sort up your photos or games or movies and all so beautiful another uh, beautiful feature on this device is the Nokia and obviously the Android kind of a feel you will get on this device when you are using or rather when you are using this device with the Go launcher and you can get that uh, Android kind of a feel when you're using up with the Go launcher which is there in this device so you can customize it accordingly and you can have the beautiful if you're an Android based user you can have the Android feel of a uh, feel on this device as well so I basically like the more the Nokia N launcher rather on this device because I absolutely love the Windows phones and the uh, uh, compatible uh, settings that I get on the Windows like I'm just on my uh, settings when it comes to end launcher you can just customize your applications and you can make it uh, big or small or you can arrange it in a, in, in a tiles or you, wherever, whatever applications they use like I absolutely like when the camera op, uh, and the gallery is just next to next so you can use it up accordingly or you can use it up whenever you want to so you can basically you can uh, customize your applications uh, next to next and side by side whenever you want to use it so let me quickly jump to one of the photos that I've taken on this device which I really want to show you now is uh, this photo. So the 5 megapixel camera shows pretty decent images on daylight obviously. Uh, so we'll try to cover up the camera in a moment but before it let me quickly show you how the photo comes up when you are using this device and when you, are, when you want to preview the photos. So it's a beautiful fantastic Audi that I've just uh, shot outside and uh, as you can see the clarity even on, the five, on, the, on this device. Uh, on the 5 inch screen is absolutely fantastic nothing much to tell when you are shooting up photos on this device in uh, daylight conditions so another uh, little bit of a problem or little bit of a issue I face when I'm using this device outside is this device being a 5 inch device uh, there's been a sometime an issue with the brightness like when you're using it up in a broad daylight so the, sometimes the uh, brightness is not so uh, up to the mark and there's been a, sometimes an issue might be it's for the pixel per inch density that might be less on this device so that's a little bit of a problem that I faced on the new Nokia XL so coming back on the review again let me uh, furthermore to do the end preview and try to jump to the and to do benchmark so benchmark being a very interesting part uh, tells you how the overall performance of the device is starting up from the uh, 3D performances, RAM and all these things. So uh, let me quickly start up the benchmark and uh, d during the time it goes on let me quickly tell you what's there furthermore on this device. So it has a 5 inch beautiful screen which is uh, almost a good thing but when you are using it outside there has been a little bit of an issue. The 4 GB of internal memory is uh, uh, less when you are using up this device and you get about 60 to 70 percent of the memory. The 768 MB RAM is uh, good enough but not so good when you are using up heavy applications or using up games and all. So check back my, f my game review for it. The camera is very decent enough and uh, which shoots a pretty good images and now we are almost at the end of the benchmark. We got about 7630 on the benchmark test. So that is uh, pretty decent and I'm not so good I must tell on this uh, on the one of the flagships from Nokia being this Nokia XL a very anticipated device from Nokia this year but you won't get much of a good results or good performances that you can expect on this uh, device. 
So this device also has a fast lane kind of a feature when you're using uh, this device on your home screen you can just toggle it from your home screen you can go to your right and you can use up your fast lanes where you can access whatever you have done in the recent past from your phone calls from your applications opening from your textings and whatsapp messages messages and whatever whatnot you'll get it all in your uh, fast lane kind of a, a feature is there on this device which is a very good thing so uh, playing up movies, uh, this device plays up uh, 720p movies pretty good enough but when it comes to full HD movies there has been a sometimes an issue. So I'll try to just uh, quickly start up a, a video test on this device when it comes to uh, playing up videos on the new Nokia XL. So here it is the video playback on this device. The device plays up uh, videos pretty good enough on the 5 inch screen. The viewing angles are also pretty good on this IPS display of the new Nokia XL. but uh, there's been a little bit of a glare comes when when you're using this uh, the high definition videos like uh, when you're using and playing up full HD videos rather 720p video is what uh, is compatible on this device but sometimes there's a lag when you're playing full HD videos but 720 video plays are pretty smooth on the Nokia XL so I'm just playing some of the video contents that is there in my uh, on, on my device so that's it when it comes to your uh, video playbacks on the Nokia XL so the very interesting part is let me quickly jump to the internet and uh, tell show you how this uh, browser the Nokia browser and the customized browser when it comes with the device performs so uh, when you are just loading up Google so there's been a sometimes issue when you are using up uh, web pages that are uh, rather uh, desktop based pages like I'm using up a Google on the desktop based web page so there's been a sometimes a lag when it comes to uh, playing up uh, rather the viewing up websites on a regular uh, desktop mode it sometimes is my issue when it comes to pinching in zooming in the website or going to a particular uh, folk proportion of a website when, when it's in a desktop mode so that's it when it comes to your overall uh, uh, when uh, your desktop version of a website loading up so apart from it any mobile version loads up pretty good enough so maximum of the users load up websites like YouTube's and all being a common website uh, which uh, for playing up videos and also nothing much of a lag that I've uh, got from uh, YouTube but yes sometimes uh, you can feel there's a little bit of a minute uh, second or half half a second or a full second uh, lag on the videos uh, on when you're browsing up through your YouTube or any other uh, rich media portals uh, for watching videos so uh, when it comes to overall performances I must say it's good enough but uh, when you're using a particular desktop based website there has been a sometimes issue uh, when you're using up a desktop based website so just uh, going up to the desktop version of the YouTube so the loading up is pretty good enough it loads up almost all the things pretty smooth like I'm using up my hotspot on my iPad I've connected to my hotspot but when you uh, load up a website so you can see there's a little bit of a lag I hope you can all uh, figure it out when I'm using up the like it sometimes doesn't response also so that's it when it comes to the overall internet based experience on the browser I would request you to use up your mobile sites if you are using up your internet uh, features on this Nokia XL so that's it when it comes to the overall internet uh, uh, options on the Nokia XL I would suggest you to use up your 3G or uh, high speed internet when you're using up the internet on the XL and uh, sometimes there might be some uh, script issues when you are loading up websites like sometimes photos takes a little bit longer to load up and uh, I'll try to just uh, quickly try to play up a video on the Nokia XL streaming up from the YouTube so when it comes to once loading up uh, YouTube videos it uh, doesn't uh, shows up any lag or something but when you are using up uh, desktop version it shows up a lag but apart from it overall viewing experience on this device is pretty good when you're using up videos or when you're streaming up videos from the internet the 5 inch screen shows up pretty decent images but keeping the thing aside when you're using it outside there has been an issue for me rather when you are using up the device outside there has been sometimes a brightness issue uh, you have to just uh, cover your device and with the hands to see up your text messages or uh, checking up who's calling also sometimes so I face that issue on this device if you're in a, using up in an indoor situation it plays up pretty good so that's uh, that's it when it comes to uh, using up this device uh, on the on the go on your outside way or if you're using the device in the indoor specifications and all so that's it when it comes to video on this device there's nothing much of a 
uh, apart from this I, I, I won't say anything else when it comes to internet it plays up almost all the websites pretty good enough now let me quickly jump to the camera that's a very interesting part that I have already shown up a photo before so you can just customize your ISO you can set up set it up and you can use up your noise reduction you can have face detection as well and the very interesting feature that I found on the device is your you can customize your saturation level your sharpness your automatic exposures and uh, all these things which is a very interesting feature you can customize it in a more in-depth way you can take up a photo more in-depth way like let me quickly show you up uh, when it comes to playing up uh, photos and videos so in the video setting you get some of the options like your video settings like your how much frames and all you can want to take up photos so that's it not a regular one and the very good thing is uh, you can uh, take up videos when the flash is on so that's a very fantastic option when you're using up your uh, nighttime photos and all so this is a very interesting test that I've done on this device uh, you can like I'm trying to customize my saturation on this thing so if you focus on mainly on the screen you can see a small change when it when you're setting up your saturation levels on this device so you can set it up from 1 to 0 sorry 1 to 10 and uh, it shoots up uh, pretty decent images and you can customize your saturations and like I'm the point of 10 now if I go to 0 the image completely turns to a grayscale kind of a uh, interface rather it shows up the interface of being a grayscale so you can just uh, play up more with the contrast levels you can customize it accordingly you can uh, put up your sharpness and all so there's been a lot of improvements that I've seen on this uh, Nokia XL camera you can customize in a lot of way you can put up your contrast you can improve its sharpness and uh, shoot some pretty decent enough uh, photos on this device as you have seen I've just clicked uh, the photo sometimes back so it's been a fantastic fantastic option so that's it for now I have just uh, covered up the whole in the preview of the new Nokia XL I hope you liked it if you have any questions just put on in the comment section below I'll be happy to help you all with some of the answers that I can give from my side you using up this device or if you're facing up any questions put on in the comment section below thanks so much this was Ray thanks so much for watching I'll see you in the next video bye bye